Are you ready for a new kind of romantic comedy? Look no further than Shotgun Wedding. Forget the cheesy rom-coms of the past. This film combines the heart-pumping action of Die Hard with the relatable struggles of being in a long-term relationship. Don't believe us. Just ask Sandra Bullock and Channing Tatum, who starred in the similarly-themed Lost City. But trust us, Shotgun Wedding takes the genre to a whole new level. Warning spoilers ahead. Darcy Rivera and Tom Fowler have been head over heels in love for four years, but as they begin planning their wedding, tensions start to rise. Tom, a former baseball player now unemployed, becomes obsessed with planning the perfect wedding, while Darcy, a volunteer with the Peace Corps, just wants to focus on spending time with the man she loves. Tom wants to give Darcy the tropical paradise of Bali, but on a budget, they end up planning their wedding in the Philippines. As Tom becomes more and more consumed with getting every detail just right, Darcy starts to feel a growing distance between them. Will their grand ceremony bring them closer together or push them further apart? Find out in this heartwarming tale of love, sacrifice and the true meaning of marriage. As Darcy and Tom's wedding day approaches, their relationship is put to the test when Darcy's ex-boyfriend, Sean, makes an unexpected appearance at the rehearsal dinner. Invited by Darcy's father, Robert, Sean makes it clear that he and Darcy once had a meaningful relationship, leaving Tom feeling insecure and questioning Darcy's feelings for him. As the couple tries to navigate the tension and awkwardness caused by Sean's presence, Tom brings up Darcy's past relationship with Sean and asks why she left him. Though his curiosity stems from insecurity, he does not realize how uncomfortable it makes Darcy feel. She just wants to spend a romantic night together before their big day, but things don't go as planned. The next morning, even in her bridal attire, Darcy feels something is missing. The traditional wedding attire and heavy hairdo do not reflect the woman she has become. She is not a blushing bride, but a mature woman with her own tastes and preferences. All this time, she had gone along with Tom's wedding plans out of love for him. But before walking down the aisle, she wants to clear the air between them and make sure they are on the same page. With their relationship on the brink, Darcy asks Tom to meet her in private, but their conversation takes a turn for the worse and they end up in a heated argument. In a moment of anger, Darcy throws away her wedding ring and storms off. But their issues will have to be put on hold as a group of pirates land on the island and take the wedding guests hostage. As Tom makes his way to the altar, he realizes the gravity of the situation and his first priority becomes protecting Darcy. He rushes to her room and they try to come up with a plan to get rid of the pirates and rescue the guests. But with their relationship still on rocky ground, will they be able to set aside their differences and work together as a team? Shotgun wedding ending explained, who brought the pirates to the island? What happened to Darcy and Tom in the end? With the pirates taken care of, Tom and Darcy set out to rescue the guests. They work together seamlessly, using their strengths to outsmart the remaining pirates. Tom's athleticism and quick thinking helped them navigate the resort while Darcy's intelligence and resourcefulness provided them with weapons and tactics. As they saved the guests and reunited with Darcy's father, they realized that they had both been foolish to let their differences come between them. They apologized to each other, and Tom retrieved the ring that Darcy had thrown away. In the midst of all the chaos, they realized that their love for each other was stronger than any disagreement they could have. The wedding ceremony was held on the beach, and they exchanged vows while the sun set behind them. The guests cheered as the couple shared a kiss, and they all knew that this was a wedding that would never be forgotten. The adventure had brought them closer together, and they knew that they were ready to face anything that life threw their way as long as they had each other. Darcy and Tom were left feeling responsible for the danger that their loved ones were in, and they were determined to make things right. They went to the kitchen to free themselves and others who were tied up, and while doing so, Tom injured his hand, and Darcy fainted. They then headed to the manager's room where they found Margie, who explained that it was strange that the pirates hadn't left yet as they usually did after stealing everything they could. Darcy was surprised to learn that Tom had known about the pirates but had chosen to keep it a secret from her. Tom took responsibility for the danger that everyone was in, and when one of the pirates heard the walkie-talkie that Tom had taken, he decided to surrender to protect Darcy. The pirates took him to the pool and questioned him about Darcy. Despite his attempts to deceive them, Sean ultimately decided to tell the truth and help them escape danger. Tom was suspicious of Sean and used a pirate slur that Darcy had taught him the previous night to confirm his suspicions that the pirates were not locals but rather from Bali. When Tom found a wedding invitation addressed to Sean with one of the pirates, his doubts increased. His suspicions were confirmed when Margie stated that the pirates were not speaking Filipino. He demanded that Sean reveal the truth, and eventually, Sean admitted that he had orchestrated the situation to forcefully take money from Robert that he had refused to give him for an investment. He and the pirates pressured Tom to reveal Darcy's location and he falsely led them to believe she might be at the Northern Cliff. Sean also took Harriet, Robert's mystic girlfriend, as a hostage. Meanwhile, Darcy left the bunker to be with Tom, as they had promised before. Though she was still upset with Tom for choosing the island, she acknowledged her mistake of not discussing her fears about the wedding. She apologized to her parents for not accepting Tom for who he was and offered to have lunch with Carol and Larry, despite the difficulties of their relationship. Carol revealed that their marriage was far from perfect, with both of them having cheated on each other, but they had found their way back to each other in the end. 
Just as the pirate situation was turning into an emotional family reunion, the pirates returned to action. The pirates at the pool attempted to inform those in the helicopter searching for Darcy that they had found the bride, but the volume on the walkie-talkie was too low to be heard. Meanwhile, Larry showed a video from the rehearsal dinner, where he had captured Sean and Harriet in a compromising position, revealing that they were working together. When the pirates demanded the entire sum of money, Harriet injured him and threw him off the helicopter. They realized they had been deceived and returned to the resort. Carol took care of the guests, while Darcy and Tom dealt with Sean and Harriet. Sean tried to convince Darcy to negotiate, but she could not trust him after what he had done. They tried to escape in the boat to reach the police for help, but Sean got on the boat and attacked Tom. They managed to cut him off the parachute he was holding onto, which got entangled with the helicopter Harriet was in, ultimately causing it to explode and leading to their deaths. As they returned to the resort, Tom proposed that they start their relationship over, but Darcy disagreed. Instead, she wanted to continue their relationship and proposed to Tom. They never wanted to face the danger they encountered on their wedding day again, but at the same time, they couldn't ignore the lessons they had learned. As a couple, they emerged stronger than before. By the end of Shotgun Wedding, the couple had learned to trust and communicate with each other, even when in doubt. Darcy had her unconventional wedding and, after everything they had been through, they were in love and married. Thanks for watching, and if you are new to our channel, subscribe and click the bell icon, so you do not miss out on our latest videos.